On February 24th, 2023, an officer on patrol noticed a vehicle passing by without the female driver wearing her seatbelt in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Additionally, one of the taillight covers on the vehicle was broken. When the officer was turning around, she drove through an intersection without stopping and appeared to accelerate. As she disregarded yet another stop sign, she nearly got smoked by a crossing vehicle. She eventually stopped her vehicle in the middle of the road and bailed on foot into her house, locking the door. While waiting for backup, the officer recalled the residents from prior interactions. He soon recognized the 21-year-old female named Shaylin when she opened the front window to speak with him. He ordered her several times to come out, but she refused. Instead, she informed the officer that she was aware of her revoked driver's license, bond status, and did not want to go back to jail. But before we continue, let's hear a quick word from today's sponsor, Sonoran Desert Institute. With more than 350 million firearms in the U.S., the time has never been better to learn how to be a gunsmith. SDI offers online firearms technology education with hands-on labs and materials shipped right to your door. Course topics range from AR-10, AR-15, or 1911 armorer options to shooting sports management, ballistics, gunsmithing, and more. Get your education and turn your passion for firearms into a successful career. Click the link below to learn more. God, he sits so far up. She repeatedly stated that she didn't want to sit the weekend and would rather go to jail on Monday. This can go the easy way or hard way. I'm going to call him right now and have him put a warrant out and I'm going to come kick your door. <laughs> Jalen, all we're saying is either way we have to reach out to parole or your probation. No. Do you want your door to get busted off the hinges or no? You made the choice. You made the choice. I know I did, but I don't want to sit the whole I know you don't. No one wants to sit the weekend. But I'm saying that if you cooperate, the judge is much more likely to issue a signature bond tomorrow when she reviews the things. He's saying he's going to go get a warrant. Take my door. Okay. I don't even need it. Once your probation officer issues a warrant for you, I'll call him right now, and then I can just kick your door. He tried to pull me over. I'm gonna, if you don't cooperate, I'm going to call your probation officer and just tell him to put you on a 60-day hold. Not nothing, just come out and talk to me. I realize that, but sometimes you need to be an adult and take accountability for your actions. You're not going to because I'm going to tell your probation officer to have you sit for two months if you're not going to cooperate. Okay, well, you need to take accountability for your actions. So I'm telling you that you're not going to sit for a day if you don't come out right now. Contact probation. We'll have charges of OER, fail jumping, resisting. I'll let him know that she's being uncooperative and see if she'll show her. Yeah. Do you want your car towed? Do you want your car towed? Do you want your car towed? It's getting it's getting towed or you're coming out. That's your two options. It's considered abandoned right now, isn't it? No. It's so worth it. Just be an adult and walk out here. stop signs. All those people in the car and then flies up here and runs out. All for an OAR. Mm -hmm. A sick bonding. Come to the door, I've told you that. 
No one wants to go to jail, but you have to, so. Following a records check, dispatch advised Shaylin was revoked due to a prior OWI. She was also out on four misdemeanor bonds and on probation. So no, you have bonds, bonds, so. four yeah. bonds and an OIR, which on, still could be. She's on probation too. And yeah, which still, I think. still could have been a SIG bond. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to sit multiple weekends if you don't come out. That's the problem. <laughs> she will if she learns what you're doing now, yes. She will. When she watches this video, who's, yeah, she who's is. Who's your agent? Is it Barb? Do you know her agent? Who's your agent? I'm not, we're not scaring you. We're not doing anything. Who's your agent? I'm completely I'm driving my car. My license I knew you were going to pull me over. Yep. I knew I was going to pull me over. For an OIR, you can get SIG bond. It would have been a SIG bond and you would have been on your way. FYI. If, if you would have just pulled over, it would have been a signature bond. You would have signed a piece of paper and you would have been home. What? Uh, okay. We would have issued you the SIG bond. No. Because it's OAR. It, it's traffic. Your bonds were criminal. It's a traffic violation. And you turn it into something more. You are now. Why? Because you ran from the traffic stop. If you went to Vran, you went to went to jail. You don't have a warrant and you all you had was OAR. If you were cooperative and decent, you would have got a SIG bond and been on your way. Well, I don't know that. Well, do what? You were this. driving when not dri when you're not supposed to be driving. That's that's not harassing you. That's you're doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing. Plain and simple, but Who's, who's your probation agent? Well, I mean, if you need help, we'll help you, but you don't need help right now. You need to be an adult and take responsibility for an action that you did. Yes. Well, it's either that or we, when we contact your agent, it's going to be an uncooperative person. And a, who, if your agent is Barb, is your agent Barb, or who's your agent? She will hold you more than one weekend if you don't cooperate. I can probably promise you that. So either you, you go to jail now and you maybe not get a, pro, a probation hold and you maybe don't sit the whole weekend because the judge can let you out on a SIG bond. Or you go to jail later and you sit for a whole month. I'm not going to get out. I'm not an idiot. What, who's not going to let you out? The judges? I'm not going to get out until at least Monday. You, you do, no, that's... If, if you if you would have just went in, they want to put a probation hold on you for anything. Probation's not going to put a hold on you for a traffic offense. But for running from us, they will put a hold on you. Now you're going to have a probation warrant if you don't cooperate. And then you're going to get arrested anyways at some point when you don't want to go to jail. And then you'll probably... But think about... You're still going to sit all weekend because when you do finally get arrested on this warrant that's going to be issued for tonight, you're going to end up going for more than one weekend. You'll sit for a lot longer. That's what we're trying to tell you. Just because you don't want to go this weekend, you're, you're, it's going to be three days max or it's going to be a whole month. You can easily get a 30 day. That's what's going to end up probably happening. I mean, and then you're going to have to pay to have your car taken out of impound. That's. I'm not trying to. Your car's not parked illegally. It's not parked. It's not parked legally, and it just you just committed a. Copy. Are you still on the phone with him? You just committed a crime with it, so it can be towed. Okay. Great. You got me. You got well, me. So you you're, you're the one not cooperating. If you come out and cooperate, that's a whole different ball game. We we can work with you. You you can make any phone call you want if you come stand out on the porch. We don't have to hook you up. We don't have to put you in cuffs right away. If you cooperate, you can call whoever you want. Yeah, I'm not lying. As long as you're decent and cooperative, we're not going to hook you up right away. You can sit right here and talk to whoever you want to talk to. There's no reason for us to put you in cuffs right away unless you're not going to cooperate. You even get to move your car. But if you're going to sit here and play games, we're, we're, we're going to do everything that we can do. What? Okay. Child. You didn't have, you weren't able to initiate a stop earlier. So it wasn't fleeing, it was just I know I sure I have my lights on that whole block. Oh okay. So technically you would have fleeing if you if she wants to play that game. Mm -hmm. I'll probably hit her with you. Yeah, I mean if she comes out and cooperates for a whole different ball game, you can work with her, but well, that's uh Don's is here, so she's got quick choices. She you can come out right now or it's getting towed. Tow trucks here come out right now or it's getting towed. That's your two options. So what you got? You're not in charge here, so it's getting told yep. or come out. All right. It's your choice. I told you, if you come out and cooperate, you can move your car. If you're not going to cooperate, you don't you don't make the calls or the decisions, and it's going to get told. They're here. If your dad's not going to be able to move it. We're not going to let him unless you come out. Well, he's here. We're not going to hold him, so you need to come out.
Come out and call your dad. Put your jacket on and come out and be an adult. Hey Jim, so she fled from her car, left it right there. It's not legally parked. We're trying to get her to come out. If she comes outside, she can move it and park it, but okay. if she doesn't come out, then we, right. we aren't going to lie. We'll have you guys take it. Give, give me a call. I'm going to go deliver this. All right, yeah. sounds good, man. You're the one making the choices. Put your jacket on, come out, and call your dad. Would you mind maybe just staying here for now? I appreciate it. I know you, you got stuff to do, but we're giving her like a minute. Come out. You can talk to your dad right here. Get can a good we, Riley, can we hook it up? Call your dad outside. Call your dad outside and we will let him go. As soon as he hooks up, it's hooked up. So you well, you need to hurry because it's getting hooked up right now. She don't need to go in cuffs right away as long as she comes out. Yeah. Well, no problem working with people if they come out and deal with it. I mean, yeah, we don't want to screw up her life anymore, but she's making bad choices right now. Yeah, we don't have to immediately put her in cuffs. You can just as long as she's out. You have control over let her call people because then it's going to go a lot smoother. <laughs> you can kind of like, she says she's coming out, so as long as she comes out and actually deals with it, we we'll probably won't hook it up, but as long as you just kind of make it look like you're you know, yeah. Hook it over uh, now. Will, That's will, why. It, it just your presence here is gonna push her to come out a lot faster than you leaving. Yeah. So yeah, I hate these damn things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After running her mouth for an extended period, she finally decided to exit the house. Not gonna right. cost my dad two hundred fucking dollars. All right. Great. Do you need to call anyone else? I need to call my dad. The baby's coming. We can move it for you. I still need to talk to my dad. I'm not going to be able to talk to anybody. First of all, you're probably going to get me kicked out of my f***ing apartment because look at this right now. Are you kidding me? We're not going to call your landlord. You're, you're being decent. This is f***ed uh, up. Just take a breath. Because like, if I would have gotten pulled over, I wouldn't have to go to f***ing jail. That's f***ed up. You can get a signature bond for OER on the street. That's why we cooperate. That's why you need for to what? stop. I will get a signature bond for what? You it would have been OAR. Well, I'm not going to get a signature bond. Oh, no, I don't, don't know what jail. that means. If you would have originally stopped for him as soon as he lit, as soon as he turned on his lights, it would have been a signature bond and you would have went home. Great. I love hearing that. Great. Well, you got to make good choices. That ain't a... I'm f***ing scared. I am terrified. I've been to jail like 30 times. I'm f***ing scared. I'm wanna, on probation. Do you want to call I'm anyone? on a bond. I'm f***ing terrified. Do you want to call your dad again? Of course, he's supposed to be coming. He's not fucking answering the phone because I'm an idiot. Would you give us permission to move it for you and just park it? I'd much rather just have my dad come here. I want my, to see my dad at least. Where would he be coming from? Because, I mean, obviously we can't sit here for an hour either. He's probably fucking almost here. Oh my god. God, I'm kidding me. <sighs> Am I going to get out on Monday? Does anyone know? It's going to be up to your agent. Yeah, now it's up to your agent. Which, Great. I mean, you came out, so that's a plus. That's awesome. Sounds like I'm not going to get have out. You been held by your agent? For a very long time. No, never. I've okay. actually haven't violated then... my probation at all, so now this is f***ed and I can't get off early. No. <laughs> this is totally f***ed. He will come down and talk to you on Monday. This is totally f***ed. Honestly, totally f***ing f***ed. Well, I'm going to text her, I guess. Hopefully your agent will come down on Monday and talk to you this then. And yes, they. if you have never been held by them, they let you out early usually. No, I'm trying to end my probation early and now I'm not going to be able to because you can't violate it. One violation is usually expected at least. Yeah, I haven't violated anything. I know, so one violation isn't the end of the world. Am I going to have a bond? Am I going to have anything? I'm going to be stuck? Bond. No bond? Well, your bond would probably wait because you're on four bonds. So that's I'm already, that's four, four grand. That's four grand right there. They're misdemeanors. My OAR's 500, so that's 4,500. And you're telling me I wouldn't have. You would have just. You would have just had the OAR and a sig bond, if you would have just pulled over. I don't know and what an OAR is. Operating, 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 operating after revocation. If you would have just pulled. Last over. Last time I got pulled over driving, I literally went to jail and was arrested. Every circumstance is different. It, usually, the more you cooperate, the better everything goes. Running into your house is never. I'm fucking. I can't stand this right now. So I'm sorry if you don't understand that because you're a cop and has never gotten in trouble. But I am not on your like. We're not. We don't have anything common right now. We have nothing common right now. So for you to not understand why I would run in my house, of course you don't. Well, I understand that you're scared, but at yeah. the same time, running from us makes the problem worse oh or makes it so you cannot arrest me in that exact moment you still end up getting arrested later yeah that's not over that's not in the exact moment yeah it doesn't go away but i don't get arrested this exact moment but you get arrested on any other day that you don't want to go to jail 
It's not like anything. Nobody to ever to wants to go to jail. On a Friday when I have plans and I'm cleaning my house, no, I don't really want to go to jail in that second. Not cooperating gets you in jail longer. All right, what's stuff down here? I'm trying to, like, see if my dad is going to pull up right now. So if he doesn't come, are you okay with us moving your car so we don't have yeah, to call it? Yeah, I would just really like to talk to him because I'm not going to call right? anybody. He's not answering because he's f***ing pissed at me and he's driving here. Are you okay with my partner moving your car and we can still talk to him? Say your dad. Okay. Yeah, great time. Yeah, we'll let you move her car. They were going to she, tow it. What? Frankly, they were going to tow it. Because she ran in her house and wasn't cooperating, but she decided to cooperate, so yeah, we're allowing you to move it. Last time I towed it, it took me four days to get it. Well, that's why we'd prefer that people cooperate. That's We don't want to do that stuff either. Can you turn your lights off? This is creating a huge scene. Flat tire. Can you turn the lights off? No, you got a flat tire. It doesn't matter. I can't drive it anyway. <laughs> So you want to give your purse to my partner? After probation hours, do I have to go in handcuffs in front of all my neighbors? Yes, you do. Do I really? I feel yes. like I really don't. You really do. Great times. Well, I'm going to sit in jail all f***ing weekend, literally, and they just made a huge scene in front of my house. You made yeah, the scene. Gonna, no, actually. Yeah, she's on four bonds, OAR, so she decided not to stop and run into the jail. Thank you. I don't, but at the same time, you, you okay. need I'm really going to send you all weekend, and I might not even get out Monday, by the way. Because my uh, f***ing seatbelt was off. And then she ran three stop signs. Because my f***ing seatbelt was off. Blew through stop sign, almost hit somebody. Because my f***ing seatbelt was off. Because my mother f***ing seatbelt was off. And the three stop signs. Cause my f***ing, yeah, because of you. What the f***? Because of me? Of no, I ran, I ran the stop sign because of f***ing him. No minding none of his f***ing business, literally. And she's operating after revocation. So. Yeah, that's a charge. Okay, my seatbelt, that's some bullshit. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna sit in jail all weekend. They're not gonna release me, they're forced. And I'm supposed to sit in that. Yes, ma'am. No, I could end up sitting more than the fucking weekend. That's exactly why I ran into the fucking house. No, sit back a little bit so I can get your seat. I literally can't. I have handcuffs on. So we send in a review of a probable cause. For the arrest, they read it, and then they determine if she needs to sit or not. Then it'll be all dependent if probation puts a hold on it. So, uh, so. I feel like you're bullshit. If I would have stopped, I wouldn't have went to jail. I wanted to call pro- If I knew that, I would have stopped. I went to call probation. Don't you think if I knew that, I would have stopped? I don't know. It always works a lot better when you're cooperative, though. I have absolutely never had that experience in my life. At all. Never. You literally threatened to bust on my door over someone saying that their credit card was in my house when it wasn't? That's some bullshit. By the way, their card was not in my f***ing house and you threatened to bust a door. I think you have a power trip and I think you're too young to be a cop and to be acting like that. By the way, because I know you and I know your sister and you're way too f***ing young to be walking around like that and you are one of the most arrogant cops in lacrosse I've ever f***ing met in my life. Okay. And that means a lot. No, I'm serious. That actually says a lot. Well, I would've... Well, maybe don't go around smirking at people's windows telling them you're gonna bust down their door because they're scared that's not really that's not really uh, protecting your well that's how the law type vibe because i pose no risk to anybody yeah not really no you don't have to be arrogant about it and not necessarily no because you're already in a position of power so no yeah but when i have criminal charges on you and i can see you're in your house you can yeah because i I'm scared to be outside. Rightfully so. Rightfully so. Fully rightfully so. I don't think that's very hard to understand. I swear to God, if you made my fucking bracelet fall off, I'm about to be pissed. My bracelet fell off my fucking wrist. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I never saw it fall off. This is some fucking straight bullshit. Am I going to get a signature bond or am I going to have a cash bond? It'll be cash initially, and the judge has to review it within 48 hours. It will be cash right now. Correct. Okay, I'm talking about like Monday because I don't can't pay cash. I can't pay four grand. So the judge will look at it probably Sunday morning, and then they'll decide if they're going to give you a signature on Sunday or if mm -hmm. they want to hold you and talk to you at court. Depends on your charges for traffic. Normally they'll just do. I I don't know what they're going to do, but. Normally they do a signature for misdemeanors and traffic and then they'll hold felonies over for court. Am I getting a charge for running? Yeah. Am I? Isn't that a felony? I'm gonna watch my video and see what- I literally ran because I'm f***ing scared as shit. by the way. Not because I'm trying to f***ing resist you and I fully came out. I'm literally scared as f***. And now I have no f***ing choice at all. None. Zero. I'm not gonna make my dad pay f***ing $300 for a stupid ass tow. And I'm not gonna get my door kicked in. So thank you for that. Sounds like I'm gonna get a f***ing felony for fleeing and eluding. Again. Have you had that before? Yup. Yup. So it sounds like I'm f***ing 
fucked, right? Sounds like that you knew the consequences. Sounds like I am fucked, right? <laughs> Thank God. Sorry, I thought I was getting arrested either way. And I came out the fucking house. There was no way I was coming out the house. You're welcome, literally. I was not going to come outside. I would ask if you don't give me a felony because I'm trying to fucking actually not become a criminal anymore. And it seems like my fucking charges just keep going and going and going and fucking going off of I don't have a license and I'm wearing a seatbelt. Is that fucking crazy? I don't think so. Not really. It's really not. And that, that's why I'm. Not, I'm was scared literally if i get a felony fleeing and eluding i'm absolutely fucked. by the way i'm fucked. since you came out i'll work with you and i won't give you the felony fleeing so it's still a fl is there there's a difference between felony and misdemeanor fleeing and eluding yeah i'll give you a misdemeanor Shaylin was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting obstructing an officer, resisting failing to stop, operating while revoked, and bail jumping. She also received $700 in traffic citations and was soon released on a $2,500 signature bond. About a month later, her charges were dismissed, but were factored into the sentencing for her other open cases. All her citations were dropped too. That sentence was ultimately withheld, and she was only given 18 months of probation. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com and check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't disappoint.